count showed a 36% increase in seniors living on the streets in San Diego. Teresa? Thank you, Logan. Well, it's the question that many of us want to ask. Is it possible for housing prices to continue to rise? Joining me now to shed some light on the San Diego housing market is Jim Patrell, founder of the Jim Patrell Real Estate Team. So good to see you, Jim. How are you? Thanks for having me. Of course. Is it possible for these prices to continue to go up? What are your thoughts about it? Well, you know, it's it's such a valid question. I mean, we've all been wondering it. I've been wondering it myself. Um, it, it even got to a point where I, I, you know, busted out the Google machine and I said, what is the rate of appreciation? I started looking at the graphs and I realized, and I encourage anybody to Google this, look at the rate of appreciation of houses in California. It's going to show 6.77%. And that's 6.77% per year, every single year. And that includes the great crash that happened in 2008 through 12 and also the two market corrections we've had since then. However, logic kind of says this is really hard to keep going up, but honestly, I, I think it's going to. And adding to what you're saying, people are having a really hard time right now with inflation and so many people cannot afford homes. How can prices continue to go up? Well, uh, you know, I say gravity is not an economic theory. <laughs> you know, it's just not. I like, I like gravity for physics, but not so much for economics. Um, it's, it's applicable to economics, or it's not applicable, applicable to economics, um, because I looked at what the history of what my family did. I looked at when my parents bought their home. I mean, I, I, I have the same question as everybody else. So I look back at the house that I grew up in. In 1971, my parents bought this house for $29,000. And today, it's worth one and a quarter million dollars. Wow, it's 43 times. I took it a step back further, and I went to the house my grandparents bought in the 40s and they paid $4,000 for that house. It's worth almost $2 million today. So I know that my grandparents went through the same issues and my parents went through the same issues. It's, they thought it was unaffordable. My, parent, my grandparents, $4,000. Do you think they ever thought that house was going to get to $5,000 or a 50% gain for $6,000? So I think, it's all, I think it's all relative. I always say I feel like I was born at the wrong time. So many <laughs> of my siblings purchased homes when they were in their early 20s. Mm -hmm. And this was, gosh, early 2000s, late 90s when homes were... $150,000, $200,000 in some mm -hmm. parts of San Diego, and now they're over a million dollars. Yeah. Okay, so now let's talk interest rates. Do you expect them to go down? No. No, Why I, is that? I don't expect them to go down for a bunch of reasons. Um, I think we're more likely to hit a 9% interest rate than we are, even maybe even a 10 than we are a 4. There was a perfect storm. There's why interest rates went, went down so much. Now there's a, there's a bunch of reasons. It has to do with demographics, um, demography, I mean, the age distributions. It has the Fed not buying the, interest, buying the mortgage backs anymore. Um, we have a lot of things that are going to suggest they're going to keep going up. Um, I will tell you a story, though, because there's a lot of people out there that are thinking that, and I know the crux of the question, that the 7.5 or 7.8 or whatever it is people are getting out, it's just too high. It's impossible. Well, I'll tell you a story of a person in April of 22. I was having a conversation with a buyer who was refusing to buy a house for the ridiculous interest rate of 4.5%. Wouldn't do it. And didn't buy it. And it's a renter today. So I look at the 7.5, 7.8, whatever it is you get today, and I think, honestly, it's kind of a win-win. Because if interest rates go up to 9 or 10, which they absolutely can do, um, then you were the genius that got the house at 7.5%. If interest rates go down to the mid-fives, well, then you refine the lower rate. Either way, you win on that one. I'm sure many of our viewers are thinking about that right now. Should I buy right now or should I wait until next year? So yeah. do you think that people should buy right now or just wait till next year? It's, uh, it's a gamble in a way. Well, okay, so interest, uh, the prices, and I'm pretty convinced prices are going to go up uh, because there's just nothing for sale. And there's not going to be anything for sale. 82% of home owners right now have an interest rate that starts with a 2 or a 3. So what's happened is that interest rate has become more valuable than the house itself. So they are unwilling to sell that house, and they're looking at it, I'm not going to sell that interest rate, I'm not going to give that up. So that's why there's such a shortage of houses out there. So there's fewer buyers today than there were a, a year ago or two years ago, but there's substantially fewer houses for sale. So that's that imbalance. And by the way, that's going to continue. These people with these super low interest rates, I mean, I'm one of them, I have 2.25. I'm not giving that up, right. ever, okay? That, I will own that house forever. Uh, I will own that interest rate forever. And that is the way everybody else is. So there's not going to be an inventory that's going to outpace the buyers, and I don't think it, it matters what the interest rate does. There could be a perfect storm where we do see housing prices come down, interest rates come down. That could happen. There's a lot of things that happen. We have to be in a deep recession, really, really bad recession for that to happen. There's got to be people who can't pay their bills that are forced to bring their houses to market, and they're gonna, that's going to overcome all the equity they have. So is it possible? Yeah. Is it likely? No. So I think, I think housing prices keep going up.
Well, that's our takeaway. It doesn't hurt to buy right now because they're going to continue going up. Historically, it always will. I mean, I, right. I'd encourage anybody, Google, or not Google, go and jump on the Zillow. Pull up the house you grew up in, pull up the house your grandparents bought, see what happened. They had the same conversations that we do. I look at my dad, he jokes when his mortgage payment went from $82 to $89 a month and he was sweating it, but he was a young motorcycle police officer making $179 a month. Yeah, right. I was, and I always think about those who sold their property in the last two, three years. They're probably thinking, why did I do that? Because yes, it they just are. jumped. <laughs> well, Jeff Patrell, thank you so much for joining us this evening, right. sharing the latest on the San Diego housing market. All right, thanks for having me.